Welcome back, everyone. So, I'm in my car, and I've just been to the car boot. It's a Sunday. Uh, woke up late. I was literally playing games all night, uh, and I stumbled into bed. Didn't set my alarm, so I woke up late. So, doesn't start the day off very well when that happens. But I actually <laughs> got some pretty damn good stuff. I, can, I just know you can probably see some of that in the camera, what I got. Um, so the first car boot I go to, smaller one got there about quarter past six now at that point most of the um people had left like the, the dealers and stuff um at that point there's still cars coming in so i had a quick look around uh i've got some pretty nice stuff and um, i'll remove these <laughs> they're crushing me um so first oh first thing so it was some ps4 games uh one for the collection here it's a psvr game i don't think it's massively expensive in cx I've not checked. Um, it's Eagle Flight. Four pounds. Looks like it's going to make me sick. Don't know. That song's just popped in my head. What is it? Uh, Four pounds. I've got it for three quid. So we'll give that a go. Um, walk around a bit more. We wanted some 360 games. There were some alright games there. She was like, oh, make me an offer. So I was just like, picked up Minecraft. <sighs> bit scratched. Uh, got it. I said, like, I have two quid. She was like, oh, 250. I was just like, okay, it's gone back up. I think it's about six pound trading. So a little bit of trade there. Um, and now for the best thing I found, I was literally leaving. Um, I said, a new stall had just pulled up and they pulled this out. It is a slim PS3. Warranty sticker's intact, but it's missing all the feet, so yeah, he was a bit like, oh, it works, it works, it works. I was just like, yeah. when they say that, I'm a bit hesitant, because, you know, um, but it's got a controller, which probably doesn't work, because it's a PS3 controller, and they never fucking work, so if that works, it'll be a miracle. There's another one down there, it's bust, like fake third party thing. Um, and there's some games. And they wanted a fiver for it. And I was expecting, to, initially I was expecting to say about 20 quid. Because you do with these sort of things. Oh man, it's disgusting. I just noticed there's like stuff all on it. It's a deep clean. Um, and then he said, oh, you get the games with it as well for a fiver. So I thought, I'll probably, if it doesn't work, I'll probably claw back my money in the games through voucher there's only four games but lego movie you know what? i'll probably put in the corner how much i get get for these i don't know myself at the moment um toy story 3 lego harry potter uh complete stars collection i'm sure lego harry potter and toy story would give me at least two three quid a piece so so for a five pretty good price um so anyway, that was that car boot. So I was pretty, pretty chuffed with that, sort of. Um, st set the day off pretty well, they did. Excuse me. I took some poison. Uh, so yeah, I went to the next car boot, the big one. And it, in, in all fairness, when I pulled up, it was quite late. Well, not late, it was about 10 to 7, so not late at all. I was surprised how big it was. So the first thing I got was these get them off me uh, i bought some magazines and i know nothing about them uh saw Stuart and rob had a quick chat with them uh spoke to Stuart about these he was a bit unsure about them um they're a bit niche is what he was saying so you might struggle to find someone interested in them but um it's a whole stack of electron user so i assume it's to do with acorn yeah but there's tons of them. And there's a bigger one there, Acorn User. Um, I'm sure, I think they're all the same to be honest. But say so there's loads of them. Um, and for two quid, I thought we'll take a punt on them. Say, so, whole stack of them. Ooh, I'm going to lean out my horn, hope it doesn't go off. I think they're all the same. That one's crushed. Some of them are in alright condition. Some of them are not. 
Oh, it's cool. Spy versus spy one there. Oh, there's a starting programming with your electron. Oh, oh god. Ah, uh, ah, uh, yeah, one of the pages fell out. <laughs> Don't know where that page came from. Maybe it was in there. Yeah, like I, said, I, think, I think they're all electrons. Yeah, so for two quid, I'm sure there's someone out there. Some niche collector out there who would be interested in them. So, it was straight after I bought that, I walked around a few more rows and there was a chap who had a PS2 on the table. So, like, it feels really light, like there's nothing in that. Maybe it's a later model when they took some of the, the stuff out. It's got a game in it. It's got Cricket. Cricket 2002 in it. Don't. So, uh, there is a power lead as well, actually, somewhere. Just no controller, obviously, because the controllers never work. Um, two pounds for a PS2. I can't remember the card in there as well. I was like, that's worth the punt all day long. All day long. And then he had, next to that, an Xbox 360. And normally, I wouldn't touch these with a... I wouldn't touch these at all, just because... So they get the ring of death, but it's got it's the HDMI one. Um, so, and I said, Oh, how much is your 360? And it was just that, and the power lead, I think. And they had, he said, Oh, two pound fifty. I was just like, Yeah, and I was still, I was still like, Yeah, I'm not sure I really want that to be honest. And he was like, Oh, there's a couple of controllers as well if you want them thrown in. I was just like, Okay, then, so for two pound fifty, and these controllers. Probably not going to be able to trade them into CX. Um, got two there. Uh, they, I mean, they feel fine. All the buttons are clicky. Um, it's just the analog sticks. That one's actually not too bad. So I'd probably get battery compartment clean. So I'll probably get a, a ten pound trade for that. Uh, this one, hmm, the foam stick there, is pretty much worn. But uh, they're still nice to nice and clicky still so so i was like yeah ah, get the in of it uh, and they had some games as well so for 50p each i'm gonna say i'm not sure sh on the trade on these i literally just picked them up um i'm sure i'll get my 50p back for the ones i picked out but i've got one, two, three, there was another one somewhere Mmm, was economy. <laughs> sure, I bought five games. Yeah, because it was £4.50. Hold on. Two pound fifty to the Xbox, fifty p to the games, four pound fifty. So yeah, so we've got Fallout. I'm not check these. I just picked them up. Damn, that is a minty copy of Fallout. I actually need that now. Think about it. Um, or do I? No, I don't. Tell a lie. I don't need that. Uh, Brave. And again, I'll put the price in the corner of these. Uh, Harry Potter and the Deadly Sh Hallows Part One. And Far Cry Instinct. Um, I think mine at home needs the manual, so it's quite nice to get that. Um, and I'm sure so that was that. Um, so last few things here. Uh, picked up this chap had a load of Xbox One games. Uh, we had them all priced up. Um, I should have bought. There's a there was a golf game, Rory McIlroy's, which for some reason is is not. It's hard to find, I guess, because they must no one must have bought it. Uh, but I think it had a fiver on that and it trades in for 13, so I probably should have bought that. But I did pick this up. It is, for a pound, a 32 gig Magic Gate PSP memory card. Or oh, it works in a PSP. For a pound, I thought it was a great price. Last few bits. Um, so, 
that's another thing. Sorry I didn't film this. One, my camera was full, and two, because I woke up late, I literally just jumped out of bed, got in my car and drove. So, 50p for these PS2 games. So we've got Star Wars Battlefield 2, 50p. Um, I'll put it to CX. E160, so on a voucher. Um, and then, for some reason, when I'm at game shows, people always ask me about these. Now, probably I'll take these and no one will buy any. So, I bought three Tony Ox games, 50p each. Um, I, I really like that one. <laughs> then they went all stupid with that one. And then, that was not too bad. So, 50p each for them. And then the last bit was as a chap he had loads of vintage toys like tons of stuff uh, he had a really cool lego like it was like a lego cube and you hang it from the ceiling and um, like made out of metal i think he sold that for 25 quid um but tons of stuff so as he had like uh, loose controllers and stuff i'd already walked off at this point but i went back and <laughs> i don't know why i bought this and i'm not sure there's any value in it but for two pounds i got me a sixth day Hanging, floating, what do you call it? Like a floating mobile thing. Brand new in the bag. Yeah, one mobile. It's two quid. I'm sure I can get money back for that. So someone's brought it next to me and they're watching me. They're watching me talk to myself. <laughs> Mind your own business. So yeah, so some alright bits there. Like I say, um, for some reason I always get loads to. Bleh, bleh. Sometimes I always get loads of stuff when I'm not filming. In fact, I always get loads of stuff when I'm not filming. It's just the way it is. And then uh, I swear next week I'll take my camera and get nothing. So, just this is how it goes. But say, um, some great stuff to trade in here. Some nice bits. The console, I even said like, last week I was like, I'm going to stop buying consoles because. I say the trading value is dropping quite a lot on stuff, so and it's the testing, it just takes too long with games, you know. I'm a lazy bastard. I just want to buy games, take them straight to the shop. I don't want to be taking consoles and stuff home, testing them, the controller doesn't work, etc. etc. So, but now I've bought a PS2, a PS3, and an Xbox, so I lied to myself. But anyway, hope you've enjoyed this quick, brief look at what I picked up the car boot. Hopefully, it wasn't completely boring. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go because I'm melting in this car. Thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.